Coach, first off, congratulations. Yep. Another season, another title. Uh, I think talking to some of the kids, they're getting used to this. Yeah, how about that? Um, I told them, you know, when I came here a few years ago, I asked what we're going to do, and I said, we're here to win football games, win GMC titles, and and and, and hopefully move on and, move, and win state titles and things like that. And that's, you know, that's what we're on a mission to do. And, and so, so proud of the kids, the parents, the community, how they bought in uh, uh, to what we got going on here. Uh, special place, special times, so let's just keep it going. Rivalry games, I always felt, should be played week 10. And tonight's no different. Yeah. I mean, it's the way it should be. Think about how, I mean, that's all that's great with high school football right there. You had a league title. You know, you had you had a rivalry game. You had packed stands. You had two huge student sections. Two great teams in terms of, of how they play the game and things like that. I mean, that is just, that's what it should be about right there. How will you guys use what you've done the first 10 weeks to prepare the playoffs? Because a couple of the kids are like, hey, we feel we left unfinished business yeah. last year. Yeah, there's there's no question. I gotta be honest with you, we keep talking. I don't know if we played our best game yet. So that's the thing. We just gotta keep grinding it out, practice by practice, rep by rep, period by period of practice, and and just keep doing what we do. I talk to Cameron, and it seems like every time I come, he has a yeah. big game. Um, what's he mean to this team? Hey, he's 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 just hard nose ton of injury kids been battling an ankle the last three to four weeks and and i think it's finally getting better as you can see that burst there late in the game on that long touch there on us because there were some fast kids trying to try to uh track him down so um yeah he just makes you smile he plays hard plays football the way it should be played so uh proud of that young man how far he's come when you came to the school i came down that spring yep and met two young men yep tigra and, and also yeah Alex safari it's hard to believe that here we are and they're, and they're already they're, done. They're, they're, they're yeah. done now. And, and it's hard to believe that that Tagra's got even bigger. He's got 6'6", 340 pounds. Yeah. So, yeah, how far they've come, not only as football players, but kids. And, and um, you know, and then Alex. And how special to get Jair. I coached his brother, Corain, years ago. And, and he came up and, you know, unfortunately, a young man prior to the season uh, lost his father. And it's been a battle for him. I'm sure tonight was a little rough you know, being senior night, but uh, he, he asked me to walk with him and I've never been uh, more proud to, to do that. So what a special young man. Um, but they, they, they just, it's these kids, they're just a great group of kids. They're talented, um, they work hard, I coach them hard. Um, same way with the coaches, great group of coaches, I coach them hard. You know, I'm a lunatic at times, but, uh, but it works, and uh, and people have bought in, and, and man, what a great place to be up here at Lakota West. So special place. All during this interview, that bell keeps going off. Yeah. What's that mean to you? That's now? the victory bell. That that that's uh, that's probably been re hopefully rang more here than it has in a long time. Uh, that means GMC championship right there, partner. The one thing I've noticed, you brought in Gary Bochamp. Yep. And. The offense keeps keeps revolving. Yeah. It, it, it keeps has this evolution. It yes, keeps it growing. does. How, and, and how and about the growth of that? Yeah, and that's going to help you going Yeah, and forward. that's the thing. We got some guys who can go get it. And 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 the way Mitch is playing now, being able to run it and throw it. I mean, he's a, he's a true dual threat kid. Um, you know, you don't he gonna let Jair hear about it all weekend about dropping that one in the end zone. So, um, yeah, that's that's the key. Proud of his evolution as a quarterback and things like that. Um, uh, he's. I like where he's at running and throwing it, and and Jerry's play calling is great. We're spreading some things around, and we can run it hard. So it's it's uh, it's uh, it's good football. Again, congratulations. Best of luck in the playoffs. Thank you, brother. Thanks for all you do for high school football, buddy.